Hello, my name is Dr. Daniel Choi. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here at Long Island Spine Specialists. I'm here to tell you a little bit about my patient, Charles, who recently benefited from spine surgery. He initially came to me in my clinic and had severe left leg pain, and also known as sciatica. He was debilitated by it, he couldn't do his normal activities, he couldn't shop, uh, walking was a horrible pain for him. He actually is an avid traveler and had cruises scheduled to travel the world and he was worried that this pain would get in the way of enjoying these vacations. Uh, when I met Dr. Troy, uh, he explained to me what was the matter with my back. He looked at the uh, x-rays and he said, look, I can fix this up. And I talked to him at that time and said, you know what? I've seen this on TV. Is it like a little, he says, yeah, it's gonna be a little thing. He says, I'm gonna cut out that little bone. He says, so that the nerves have a, they're free and the pain will go away. I said, hey, that's, that's the greatest. And that's the way I left it. And he said to me, I can do it whenever you, you want to do it. I said, well, I like to do it as fast as possible. And he says to me, I have an opening on a Friday. So I offered him a surgery called a microdiscectomy. It's a minimally invasive procedure where we go in, remove the disc and free the nerve up. Here in this model, the L4 and L5 vertebra are identified. The nerves are also shown that lie in the middle of the spinal canal and the discs that lie in between the vertebral bones. In this model here, you see that there is a disc herniation that is pushing back on a nerve root and causing the leg pains and the sciatica that our patient described. Before the surgery starts, the appropriate levels are identified using x-ray and a small incision, two to three centimeters long, is made at the area of the surgery. Careful dissection is then carried down to the area of the bone over the disc. A small window of bone is then made to access the disc space, the nerves are moved over, and special instruments are then used to remove the disc that's compressing the nerve. This should take care of the patient's symptoms and leg pain. I felt like nothing ever happened, like as if I was never had a problem with my back, I didn't feel pain on my back, I was able to sleep on my back. I said, in fact, I don't even feel anything. I don't even feel we did the incision. That's how good it was. I've never had some kind of an operation where I came out where I didn't have pain. This is the only one. I've had a lot of surgeries, and all the surgeries always had me pain for two, three, four days. This thing, they did my spine. I walk off the table, I said, whoa. So as far as I'm concerned, I never had a, a problem after that. I felt like a million dollars, really. So. That's the truth. In Charles's case, his surgery worked out very well for him and improved his quality of life, and he was able to enjoy the things he loved. Spine surgery may not be the answer to all conditions and symptoms. There are lots of non-operative treatments that can help treat back pain and sciatica. However, when all else fails, spine surgery may help, as it did in Charles's case, in improving his quality of life. Our specialists here at Long Island Spine can help determine whether spine surgery can benefit you.